berries. The round table. And now is the first third mission test that my rank actually actually is is uh, Head operations is affecting to the game. For reconnaissance mission conducted near the border. You will be monitoring the airspace B7R, currently under Belkin control. Strong opposition is expected by enemy squadrons, and the presence of a magnetic field has been detected which may interfere with communications. In short, this will not be a walk in the park. The B-7R airspace is located above an area rich in subterranean resources, where many conflicts have been fought in the past. You're authorized to engage enemy planes upon contact. The time has come for your skills to be tested. Joker one. So let's. If this is pure dog fighting mission, then I, I think Reapen is is pretty okay. We just need to purchase a special weapon. Yeah, Terminator would be like yeah overkill for this mission. So basically, the game branches in quite many missions, depending on what's, what's your ace rank. One strategic airspace B7R. Also, those cutscenes have a different two. things to say about you. It was the grand stage where we pilots performed. We were all on an equal footing, fighting under the same conditions. No affiliations or ranks to hinder us. Aces from every nation crisscrossed through those skies in pursuit of air superiority. The only rule of engagement was to survive. Gong team, this is Eagle Eye. Penetrate B7R and get a feel for the surroundings. Gong team, Roger. This kind of job is a Playing the good guys here, so I'm just trying to bottom bottom my score.
you need to watch out the uh, ammunition in this game because there's not uh, as many shots than in like New York Ace Combat 7. Okay, what's why what the mission is in ending? Okay, there's more of them. This is this is actually dependent on what what you are what's your uh, ace rank rating. So you get different uh, squadrons attacking you that had different kind of fighters. Oh, that's fine. Creep, creepin' versus creepin' Somebody got heat So these aces are actually trying to fly a bit better Wasn't that hard, really? Incoming message from Allied Forces Operations Command. Allied Naval Force has begun its advance. We appreciate your work. What? Looks like we were just a couple of decoys. Well, of course. B7R is more heavily guarded than we thought. If it wasn't for you, this ploy of ours probably would have failed. Keep up the good work. My ace, ace my rating didn't go down. I think. Check it out. Usto and Ocean Coalition Forces are to launch a joint campaign. The collective strategic military force of the two armies will be referred to as the Allied Forces. The campaign will be called Offensive Campaign Number 4101. What, what, what a name! The objective of this operation is to secure a sea transit lane for the Allied Forces. To secure this channel, the Belgian forces occupying the Paturo Canal must be cleared out. You will be given a choice of missions in this joint operation. Offensive campaign number 4101 will be comprised of the following three air missions. First, there is Operation Gelnikos, 
This is an air-to-air -air surface operation, whose objective is to wipe out Belka's air squadron, port facilities, and surface weapons. Next is Operation Round Hammer. This is an air-to-surface operation, whose objective is to wipe out the Belkan fleet, its port facilities, and surface weapons. And the last mission is called Operation Costa. This is an escort mission, whose objective is to protect the naval vessels and Osea's third fleet, including its state-of-the-art aircraft carrier, which will be making a trial voyage. Fierce resistance by Belkan forces is expected in all three missions. Choose carefully which one you wish to participate in. That is all. So basically, basically some missions have a, like three different missions inside of them. <clears throat> and we can actually see them. Shroud, Shroud Hammer has this. Uh, okay. So Kelnikos is here. Shroud Hammer is here. I pressed the pressed the wrong button. Okay, so this is uh, uh, to destroy the entrance here. Crowd hammer is here. That's a fleet. And Costner is is esc escort mission basically. Hammer feels feels nice. So we'll we'll take the mega bombs. So, so this has lots of uh, chance to select uh, your your type of mission. So repair playability is pretty good with the uh, Ace Combat Zero. Always an always, also, always an option.
container ship. Frigates need only one missile. Yeah, that's it. Using SOD was pretty much overkill. Okay, lots of target rich area basically. Some aces are total psychopaths. Okay, it went uh, yellow when when it's lo uh, when the ship lost all, all of its weapons. Basically, it's it can't join combat, so it's it's not part of it. So you you can play a gentleman. Ages. So let's do it. 
You know, I thought it would blow up crap. Surprisingly often this ah, head-on shooting actually works in this game. Ah, there's an enemy that actually shoots us. Eight missiles left. <laughs> Cutting close. This level we have an unlimited amo amount of gun shots, so. Nice work, Gom team. Yeah, we kind of destroyed everything. Kestrel. We Kestrel was the aircraft tra carrier from Days Combat 5. So. So the cleanup mission, of course this has like a couple boring cleanup missions where there's just million of enemies and you can reload and yeah, need to shoot a shoot lot, lot of things. You basically need to use those big weapons. Like I'm, I'm using here. Because these, these bomblets that actually, cluster bombs actually destroy a lot of around the target. Okay, you see, here you can see how, how wide the area is. It's going to be wiped out. Operation Roundhammer was a success. It goes without saying that your actions greatly contributed to the overall success of campaign number 4101. The acquisition of this sea lane will prove to be an invaluable resource to our forces. Yeah, now, now we had the soldier, and the, I was thinking that this playthrough would be a soldier play, playthrough, so I, I try to keep the, my A style in, the, in that middle over there. <coughs> because that um, has effect on my enemies, what kind of squadrons game is sending against me, and what uh, aircraft I, I can buy. And uh, what the people in the interview videos, cutscenes say about uh, Cypher, column one. So, so yeah, lots of your playstyle has a lots of impact uh, in in, the, in this game, and that's that's pretty great. Yep, pretty great. In anyhow, that that was one hour of Ace Combat. The mountain town of Solus Ortis is located just outside Ustio's capital, Directus. A directus. I, I think one one mission more with Ace Combat. Uh, then we are going to switch to the contraband police. In a surprise air and ground attack on the Belgian forces. This operation will play a critical role in Lucio's liberation. Your mission is to provide support for the airborne troops. Destroy Belgium's surface to air defense network and all interceptor aircraft, securing a safe drop zone for the airborne troops. Be aware of civilians still inside Solus Ortis. Your actions will determine their fate. <laughs> Your actions will determine their fate. Oh no. Yeah, so you so you can do uh, war crimes in this game. Yeah, th there's some yellow ones. Yeah, and we are going to be evil and destroy everything. Yeah, I think this was a uh, lot 
of Berg. Can can we buy something nice? I mean I mean Creepen is nice. Very very nice. Especially with with the special weapons. <clears throat> Roller. It has missiles, but really lacking on on the strike weapons. I'm not liking it. Uh, strike eagle is is. Air to ground. We don't we don't get. Uh, Normal Hornet yet. We, we need to play in a different A style to get it. So that's why I'm going to. Okay, so they have a lots of uh, lots of uh, planes that offer uh, great uh, air to ground capability. Uh, eight, eight ten is basically all uh, go to in many many other. Ace combat games. If you don't want to know what uh, ground attack uh, aircraft to get, get get a 10 and it has fuel <laughs> fuel, fuel uh, aerosol bomb, which is uh, called well poor man's nuclear weapon. So what we we could actually go with the with the creeping. I mean, Creeper is, is fine. Okay, let's see, we have uh, three different color seams. So it can be gray, uh, white, this is nice. And basic. Let's take the uh, finish color. <laughs> uh, instead of dispensers, because I want to destroy everything. You're not doing much, so you can you can take a air to air missiles. This set had a few few really interesting missions. Escort units, this is the 122nd Airborne. We're now entering the designated airspace. We can't return to base until we empty this transport. We're counting on you. First, attack any anti air troops positioned at our. That, that might be a war crime.
That's a licensed build uh, F-16 from Japan. Drop operation without uh, air superiority. That's not. That's not good idea. I need to shoot that down. SOD canisters are pretty, pretty awesome. They were in Ace Combat 7 uh, as well, so... So Creepen is overall good, good choice in, in this game. This zero series of games. And Ace Combat 0 is like... Ace Combat 5.5, basically. Haven't played uh, Ace Combat 6 in years. I, I That's actually the first Ace Combat I played. Uh, but it's, it's apparently... Regarded pretty, pretty okay. Hi. It's 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 fun to play. Se Seven was pretty nice. Seven had like all bell bells and missiles and story. Yeah, crazy crazy box. Yes. Ah, we need to land. Never done this before. Uh, yeah, yes, I have. <clears throat> Turn right. Um. Turn right. Go, go into the center line here. Drifting a bit. Wonder if it's on my because my stick or something. Door coming in too fast. Slow down. I mean, this is creep, and you can you can land it in in the on, on the highway. So yeah, pl plenty of <laughs> plenty of runway left. You're pretty good, John One. Yeah. Yes, I am. <laughs> All right, uh, so
Operation Varsity succeeded. Ground troops are now en route to Solus Ortis. It won't be long now before Ustio is liberated. Didn't, didn't spare anyone. Apparently you get... Uh, I wonder if you get points of form with those. Yeah, I'm still, still a... Soldier! Flicker of hope. Preparations to liberate Directus are now complete. I will now brief you on the Ustio 6th Air Division's role in regaining control of the capital. Directus is divided into five administrative wards, centering on the River Crescari. Powerful weapons have been placed in each ward, comprising the Belkin Army's Ustio Branch headquarters. This battle will determine our fate, as the annihilation of all enemy forces will mean liberation for the nation of Ustio. The enemy forces are primarily comprised of ground troops, but we have received information that, while not yet confirmed, there is also a squadron of high-tech enemy fighters. Your of course, there is. The There's all, always is a high-tech enemy fighters in case combat. And everyone seems to be using every kind of fighter, so... I don't know. Anyway, uh, that's all for today and I think I'm going to switch the game to the contraband police. Here, here we can check the is. Yeah, I'm, I'm at the soldier right now. This is this is where I want to be. I first first played through was the night. So Total flight time, 3 hours, 17 minutes. So this isn't, isn't 